I'm Kieran, editor of AI Business, here today with John Oranger, CEO of Shutterstock. John, how's it going today? It's going well, going well. Just talked a bit about how we're using AI to sell uh, our images, and and it's, it's, it's great here. So your keynote was the art, science, and commerce of visual search, right? Yeah. So look, can we break that down a little bit? What, what do you mean by the art of visual search? Yeah, so uh, our customers are businesses, and they're downloading, downloading images to drive uh, uh, some sort of result. They're trying to sell a product, they're trying to sell a service, uh, and, and an amazing image is kind of a subjective thing. It's a subjective thing uh, to the different companies that are buying our images. If you're a banking company uh, versus a, a PR firm, you're going to be looking at something that's completely different, um, and that kind of quality element is going to be different. So we're using AI in search. Uh, we use we use our keywords in search. We use our customer behavior in search. But at the end of the day, if you just use the algorithm, you're not really going to get the exact result you need. So there's a bit of a balancing act between kind of that art and science of, of search. So can you tell me a little bit about some of the tools you're using for to improve visual search? Anything new coming out using AI? Yeah, we have several tools. Um, at shutterstock.com slash showcase, you'll find them. Uh, it's our labs area where we're kind of have our cutting edge um, AI tools. Uh, there, you can do things like search for specific objects in a specific place in an image. So, if you want a commercially released image um, of of, uh, of a person on one side of the photo and a cat on the other, you can put person on one side, cat on the other. You'll get search results of of uh, those objects, of those people, those objects in those specific locations. You can switch the two, and then the search instantly changes, uh, and you can see the objects on the other side. That's really important for our customers. Um, so that they can uh, really get to the image that they need. Sometimes they're adding text to the image, sometimes they're manipulating the image, and they need certain things in certain places. So it has been a bit of a game changer for our enterprise clients in particular. So obviously you're using visual search to help people get great photos, right? But you know, what are the other applications for customers of, of this search technology? Yeah, well, we're, I mean, we're trying to sell as many images as we possibly can to our customers. Today we sell six a second. Um, we'd like to sell a lot more. We've sold a billion. Um, we've sold more images than, than anybody on this planet. Um, and what we want to try to do is start to get that information out of that data um, to help the next com customer in the door to sell, to, um, to use uh, uh, the right image for their, for their project. Um, the more we understand about how our customers are using our images and what they're, what they're actually downloading based on, uh, the, their search terms and kind of the behavior on the website, the more we can help the next customer. Great, great. So what kind of advice would you give to other enterprises trying to start out on this journey of using AI to kind of improve the customer experience? I think one thing we learned uh, real quick in the beginning is that things change really fast and innovation in this space happens really fast. So fast in that Sometimes in the time it's going to take you to build something, it could be available in a cloud-based environment during that same time period. Um, we have gone on to build things that are available in AWS, for instance, um, pretty quickly after or even while we're building it. I would really look closely at the bill versus buy equation here because the amount of innovation and the amount of cloud-based service around for your business um, is, is, is pretty big. Absolutely. So. Um you know, kind of moving forward, where do you where do you see the you know the future of search and e-commerce going thanks to these technologies? Uh, it's making it so that our customers and other customers that are doing similar things are able to get to their uh, end result quicker. Uh, that's definitely happening. Um, I think, look, you know, AI is important when it comes to search, but like I said, um, aside from the science, there is the art, uh, and especially when. You have creative customers like ours. Um, there's kind of a mix between what the computer is providing, what humans are providing, um, and you need to balance that out very effectively to get to the right result. Yeah, great. So, you know, in that context, what is it specifically about the AI Summit today that you're looking to engage with? You know, what's your key takeaways? Yeah, well, it, it's exciting to meet a lot of our customers are here, uh, and so interacting with them and trying to build those relationships further. IBM's here. Shutterstock just integrated with the IBM Watson Content Hub. So all of Content Hub customers have access to Shutterstock images. And we're kind of, we can kind of take a mix of our AI tools and theirs and get to a, a pretty interesting result over time. Um, but yeah, there's, there, there's a lot of great people here, a lot of great companies. And um, we're glad to be here. Great, great. Um, 
So that's just my last question is, um, you know, we live in a world now where everyone's a photographer, supposedly, you know? What, what is it that, that was the challenge to dif differentiate the kind of product you're putting out there in a world where anyone could take pictures? It's true, everybody is a photographer, um, and that's great for us. We sell images and we want to sell as many as possible. We want as many contributors to be onboarded to our platform as we possibly can. Um, so I think what's going to start to happen is we'll be able to tell our contributors things about their images that maybe we weren't able to before because uh, at scale maybe it was too complicated uh, to do that. Whereas some of the AI tools we can start to tell our contributors uh, certain keywords are trending and this is the type of features that should be in those images in order to sell those images. We can take kind of that uh, recommendation and trending uh, uh, part of the algorithm further. Um, I think there's a lot to be done from here. Great, great. Um, just to kind of wrap up, I mean, why is it that image, images and visuals are, you know, such a hotbed of data for AI applications? Uh, well, a lot has changed in the past five years. I mean, five years ago, the amount of computing power, the, amount, the number of, of GPUs that are available at a low cost, um, it kind of wasn't... Uh, uh, available. I think over the past five years, a lot has changed. Um, and, and when it comes to image search in particular, um, there's still a long way to go, but um, it's, it's crazy how we're starting to take it uh, for granted uh, how far we've come in five years, but the next decade will be important as well. Yeah. John, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you.